Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's makeup look, I did this beautiful brown smoky eye bridal look. This is actually perfect for those brides who does not like a lot of glitter. So let's go ahead and let's get started. I'm going to use my MAC Studio Fix foundation in NC44 and using a damp beauty blender, I'm going to bounce all that foundation into my skin. Moving on to my highlighter, I'm going to use my Maybelline Age Rewind Highlighter in shade medium and I'm going to dab that all over my highlighted zones which is underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, my forehead and a little bit on my chin and my cupid's bow. And using the same beauty blender, I'm going to blend all that into my skin. So lately I've been really really busy with my bridles because the weekends are always packed with like bridal makeups. So I'm very happy that I actually got some time off to quickly film this YouTube video for you guys to actually see and enjoy. And I hope you guys will actually like this. So for contour I'm using my Clinique stick and this is in shade Ample Amber. What I'm doing here today is I'm actually contouring the parameters of my face and I'm not going to contour the sides of my nose. I'll just leave it towards the end because I'm actually planning to just contour it with powder only. And using the same old beauty blender, I'm just going to dab all of that contour into my face. Now to set all that highlighted zones, I'm going to use my Translucent Powder by Inglot Cosmetics. And I'm using the same beauty blender to sort of dab all that powder underneath my eyes to prevent it from further creasing throughout the day. Next I'm going to take my NC35 Studio Fix Powder and I'm going to actually use that powder around my highlighted zones. Now this powder is a couple of shades lighter than my skin tone, like I said my foundation shade is NC44 and this powder is NC35. Now what this powder does is basically it is acting as a highlighted powder, also it is very high coverage so it actually covers a lot of the flaws on my skin and it does a pretty good job I must say. Now for the rest of my areas on my face, I'm going to use my NC44 which is actually my skin color and I'm going to actually use this powder on the parameters on my face and this sort of act as a transition color right in between the highlighted zones and the contour zones. So when I go with my contour powder, it's not going to look like a harsh contour powder but rather more blended because I already have put that transition color in between. Okay, now going on to my contour, which is going to be by Inglot as well. And I'm using the Inglot MC powder in 512 and 505. And as you can see, the contour lines are not turning out very harsh. And that's because I've already applied that transition color, which was the NC44. I hope that's making sense. Now I'm going to use the color call 505 by Ingla Cosmetics and I'm using a very skinny brush to draw the parameters of my nose. So I'm just basically drawing two lines on the sides of my nose to make my nose look more pointy and sharp. Now here I'm just playing around with the shape of my nose, like honestly you can do the way you want your nose to be like. You don't really have to do it my way. For my blush today I'm using Modern Mandarin by MAC Cosmetics and actually one of my bride told me this is one of my most favorite blush because I've been using that all over my videos and that's kind of true, it is. It is actually my most favorite one. 
So before I move on to my highlighter, I just quickly sprayed my face with Makeup Fix Plus by MAC Cosmetics. And moving on to my highlighter, I've used the most popular highlighter which is actually Oh Darling by MAC. This was actually quite popular and I was so happy that it came back in stock and so I got to, I got to lay my hands on it. So I was very, very happy. Now moving on to my eyebrows, I'm going to use Inglot Eyebrow Mascara in shade 03. What this does, as you can see, it quickly kind of takes away that powdery look from my eyebrows, making it look really prominent and nice and clean and clear. After which I'm going to use my Annabelle Eyebrow Pencil and I'm just going to draw these sparse areas in. Now to basically wrap up my entire base makeup, I'm just going to spray my face again with MAC Fix Plus and dab it with a beauty blender. This is to actually set the entire foundation onto the face so it stays throughout the day. So now to start off my eye makeup, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer and this is going to act as my base. Now for eyeshadow, it's a pretty straightforward. I've actually showed all the colors on the screen for you, but I will again write down all the details with the color names down below on the description box for you guys to have a look. All these eyeshadows that I'm using are mainly from Inglot Cosmetics. And there is one eyeshadow that I've used from MAC Cosmetics that is called Embark. Once again, all the names and the shades of the colors of these eyeshadows will be posted down below on the description box for you guys to actually have a look. Now blending is always a key in any sort of makeup, so blending is a must. And I'm going to use again that Oh Darling highlighter for my inner corners and on my brow bone. I'm now going to underline my waterline using my Inglot Eyeliner Cool Pencil in shade black.
Next for my eyeliner, I'm using my NYX eyeliner in shade black. This is actually a liquid eyeliner. I absolutely love this eyeliner. It has such a fine tip and it's so easy to apply. I believe anybody can apply eyeliner with this eyeliner for sure. Now for my mascara, I'm using All-in-One Mascara by Revlon. For my lashes today, I'm wearing Velour lashes and I quickly pop them on behind the camera. And for my liquid lipstick today, I'm using my Milani liquid lipstick in shade Covet. This is actually a deep burgundy brownish color. So I'm not, I wasn't quite happy with the color by itself because it's too dark for any sort of bride. So I actually went with my Anastasia Beverly Hills in shade Ashton. I kind of mixed the colors up and I thought the color turned out pretty nice after. So let the liquid lipstick dry and once it's dried, you can see the color actually looked really stunning. And now you can see the lipstick actually dried and it looks amazing. So that's it guys, that's the entire look for today's makeup look. So I just actually popped some jewelries on like a usual bride would do and I think this entire look just turned out amazing. I hope you guys actually enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions, please do not forget to comment below and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you also. Do not forget to like, comment and share and subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Instagram, Twitter account and my Facebook. Thank you so much for watching guys. Hope to see you next time. 